Some of you know this story, probably parts of it from The Great Escape. It was a pretty fictionalized account, um, but an entertaining one nonetheless. And you mentioned the Cooler King, and I'm glad you did, because this is the character that Steve McQueen was based upon. He was known as the Cooler King because he was captured and escaped several times. He was the basis for Steve McQueen's character. He was a native Texan. He had volunteered for the Royal Canadian Air Force in June of 1940, earned his pilot's wings in a commission, and gone to Britain to uh, fly Spitfires. He was first shot down on a mission near Calais in France. He was one of the most heavily punished prisoners in World War II, spending over six months in solitary confinement. His first stint came in, um, after a prank against the German guards. The guards were trying to count the prisoners, as they often did, and several of the men, including Ash, started milling around. So if, if you've ever tried to count kindergartners, you can imagine <laughs> it's very similar, right? Um, the guards didn't find it as funny, though, and Ash ended up in the cooler. That was his first experience in the cooler. Then he tried to escape. He was caught hiding in the shower room and was hoping they just wouldn't notice he was gone, but again, they counted prisoners. He got two weeks in the cooler for that. The camp became overcrowded. He was at Stalag Luft, Luft III. He was sent to another camp about 150 miles to the northeast in Poland. And about the day he got there, right, he tried to escape again. He was unloading a train. He rolled underneath the train, got to the other side and ran, and they caught him and put him in the cooler again for a couple of weeks. Um, during this time, he'd actually uh, secured a little nail file, a little file, and was trying to get out of his cell when they caught him the second time, um, another two weeks for that. You kind of see a pattern here with, with William Ash. He gets out of the cooler, and he, then he tries to cut through the fence with wire cutters. Um, that time, he did not get caught, but his two compadres did. He also uh, tunneled out, again, was caught. He spent about 10 days in the cooler for that one. He did escape from a camp in Lithuania and actually was on the loose for a couple of weeks. Again, was caught. This time they said they were going to execute him because he was a little bit problematic to try to keep in. <laughs> but instead, they sent him back to Stalag Luft III. And while he was in the cooler that time is when the Great Escape took place. So actually, he couldn't participate in the Great Escape because he was in the cooler at the time. 